going to bring you a story of some inspiring students. They're the journalists who publish Grant High School's magazine. Just last week, they broke the news of racist posts made by students on social media. And as our Jennifer Hoff found out, their work is now getting recognized across the country. She was supposed to, but she moved out. Some of the students sit together I think there's something on. to see the video online editor Sawyer Montgomery is making. <laughs> it highlights their trip to New York. The group took last month. They accepted another Gold Crown Award for their monthly magazine that only 81 schools won out of more than 1,200 entries. It takes some time to get comfortable with this kind of stuff, but that's kind of how you get um, good at what you're doing. Maybe we can find a few more people. This kind of stuff is tackling topics like bullying and eating disorders for its nearly 500 subscribers that has nearly doubled in a year. Their work might be nationally recognized, but it's only fun Funded by advertisements the students themselves secure, which paid for their trip out east. But advisor Dave Austin says he can't put a price on what they learned there. It may be take them a little bit longer to get it, but they do. And when they do, they realize the power and the authority that they have of sharing someone else's story. They met professionals at Columbia University, Public Radio, and the New Yorker magazine who taught them to plan ahead. Like months and months ahead, so I guess that was good advice to kind of be always thinking about story ideas and always kind of having um, your eyes out for new things you can do. So it'll be a little bit more personal. It's a tough job that's even tougher to get because of the comprehensive screening process that caps next year's class at 22 kids. I will probably never do anything like this again. Like even if it's like even if I go into some sort of journalism, it won't be this. It won't have Dave. It won't have like these guys. So I just kind of learned that. Um, just kind of to make the most of my time that I have left here because it's just like really kind of unique and it's kind of a special place to be. Cade May was accepted into four Ivy League schools and like the five other graduating seniors, doesn't plan to major in journalism. Uh, one, two, but they'll still stick together because of an experience that taught them skills that go far beyond the classroom. You can be a part of this class and want to go into an area that's completely different, but you can apply everything that you learn from this class and from this experience to that. In their next publication, the group is working on a follow-up investigation that closely examines race at Grant High School. Then the city council even plans to recognize their work and adopt a resolution in their honor come May. Back to you.